Efforts to reduce crime, revoke bail, provide more resources for officers, and implement new programs to better tackle the root cause of crimes among young people. Just some of the key points discussed during a lecture series on a national security policy last evening. LaDon Davis has the details in this next report. As the country continues to grapple with an increase in violent crimes, particularly involving young men, National Security Minister the Honorable Wayne Monroe says there's an outcry for drastic action to carry out capital punishment, increase sentences and remand without bail for those charged with serious offenses and without exception. 40% of the murders committed last year appears to be evidence of capital punishment being executed on the streets without trial without due process and without appeals. Yet young men continue to join the street gangs, seemingly undeterred by an almost promise of death on the street. Digging deeper into the national security policy, Monroe emphasized that prevention, detection, trial, rehabilitation, and increasing manpower and resources are vital components to maintaining law and order, thereby creating safer communities. Additionally, he says investing in more intervention programs will cut at the root of crimes. We have gangs in this country. If we don't get them to join our gang, I can assure you that there are a number of other gangs that will very readily accept them. And so to achieve this, we have re reinvigorated and in some cases implemented a range of programs and initiatives to empower our young people, providing them with the tools and support they need to make positive life choices. These initiatives include, but are not limited to, the program called Students Together Against Negative Decisions Stand, the Barry Island Community Plan, Law Enforcement Empowerment and Preparedness Program, and Urban Renewal 2.0. The National Security Minister also touched on addressing the trial process in our judicial system. I believe one of the recent persons murdered was on bail for six murders which would stand testament that for six murders, none of them have come to trial. And so we have to address the trial process. And we recognize that a fair, efficient judicial system is essential to maintaining public trust in our institutions. And as such, we're in the process of setting up a task force to address delay reductions. But in the meantime, he's hopeful a more efficient and effective justice system will be created, leading to the public having that much more confidence in it. For the Bahamas Tonight, I'm LaDon Davis.